hey you guys welcome back to my channel i'm tiff with the t for those of you who are new welcome please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this content so today's news is that chris brown is being sued by a jane doe anonymous woman who says okay so for all intents and purposes of this video instead of saying the r word throughout the video i'm going to say s a i'm assuming that it's mostly adults that watch my videos so if you don't know what sa is please go and look it up there's a woman that's alleging that chris brown s a'd her she actually uses the r word but we're not gonna go there i'm just gonna read the shade rooms post from yesterday about what's going on so it says according to tmz Chris Brown is accused of SAing a woman on December 30th, 2020. The woman, who is a singer, claims Chris grabbed the phone of a friend she was FaceTiming and urged her to come to Diddy's home on Miami's Star Island, to which she agreed. Upon arrival, she claims Chris approached her and asked her if she wanted a drink, then motioning her toward the kitchen area on the yacht. Court documents state the woman entered the kitchen with Chris, drinking a mixed drink he gave her while engaging in conversation. However, after a second drink, the woman began to feel a sudden, unexplained change in consciousness. The lawsuit continues, stating the woman felt disoriented, physically unstable, and started to fall in and out of sleep. And that's when she claims Chris led her into a bedroom in addition, the woman claimed she was drugged and half asleep. However, no police report was made due to embarrassment. The woman is suing for the large lump sum for severe emotional distress. Now, before we get into it, there's actually a more detailed account of what happened. I want to read a little section of the more detailed report because there was, y'all, there was some really serious allegations in there let me just find it for you real quick okay so the neighborhood talk has a little bit more detailed account so they say she claims chris became extremely aggressive in a matter of minutes and s aid her the thing that they say that's different is that in the document she claims that he closed the bedroom door wouldn't let her leave took her bikini pants off and started kissing her she says she told him to stop but he kept going and SA'd her. She claims Chris released himself inside of her. Um, I, this is very graphic, I know, but just bear with me. Um, that he released himself inside her, jumped up, announced that he was done. Um, and then she says that she received a text from him the next day telling her to take a plan B. She was still in shock but took the pill. She's suing Chris for 20 million in damages, claiming the alleged SA is causing her severe emotional distress. Now, I don't know if you guys remember, but back in 2019, Chris Brown was overseas. I think he was in France, in Paris, France. And they detained him because, they actually arrested him because a woman alleged that he SA'd her then. Um, it came out that the woman was either lying or she didn't have her story straight or something. It wasn't him. Charges were dropped. His name was cleared. Um, so this is not the first time that Chris has encountered these type of allegations. I'm just going to say this. Um, I honestly don't believe it. I know I say this a lot on my channel about women who come forward and they make these allegations um my number one question is if she was too embarrassed to go to the police to get him arrested for him to be locked up for such a heinous thing why wasn't she too embarrassed to file a civil lawsuit against him for money that tells me that this is all about the money because if somebody does something like that to you you're gonna want them to be locked up so that they don't do it to someone else or they don't do it to you again 
Um, so I'm just not buying that whole, oh, she was too embarrassed. She's still too embarrassed to go to the cops. But you're filing a lawsuit and coming after his money because you know he has money. Chris Brown did respond to these comments. Apparently he had time to address these rumors and this is what he had to say. I hope y'all see this pattern of cap. Whenever I'm releasing music or projects, they try to pull some real BS. So, and then after that, he posts a picture of him with a whole bunch of baseball caps on his head because he's saying that's cap. Like these allegations are false. I hope y'all see right through them. Every time I'm about to come up in some way, something happens like this and you know, he's clearly unbothered by it. He's clearly denying it. Um, and it is what it is. I do believe that his name is going to be cleared. This whole thing is going to go away just like the other case went away. I'm sure the woman is just trying to extort some money out of him. Uh, I've been a Chris Brown fan. Me and Chris are the same age. I always tell people we grew up together because from the time he did his first album back when we were like 15 years old all the way till now I've been following him and Chris Brown is a lot of things. Okay, he is a lot of things. I am not going to sit up here and act like he is a saint, but I just do not, I just don't believe that he would do that to someone. He's got plenty of women all over the world who would love to give him the time of day. I just don't see why it would be necessary for him to do that. Not saying that it doesn't happen because it absolutely does. And, and victims of SA, they should definitely come forward, but I'm not buying it. When Chris's name is cleared, I would really like to see something happen to this woman. I would like to see criminal charges filed against this woman and anyone who lies about SA because it's awful that women can just lie, say anything, and then tarnish somebody's reputation and then only to come, only to find out later that the person that she was lying um, and then she just goes away scot-free. That's not right. If people can loudly lie about something so serious, um, so detrimental to your reputation, I feel that those people should loudly go to jail. Those people should loudly be slapped with fines and drugged through the courtroom um, because it's wrong. I guess some women might see Chris Brown as a target because they say, oh, he has a history of domestic violence. So of course they'll believe me over him. Those incidents that he has had of violence in his past, I think have made him a smarter person. Being a fan of Chris Brown, I can tell you there's just some things that you're not gonna see from him. As a person, as an artist, there's just certain things he's not gonna do. I was talking to my husband about this last night and he was saying, I, I don't know why these celebrities don't just have you sign NDAs automatically. If you're gonna be in their space, you should just have to sign an NDA unless I know you. Like I've known you since before the fame. Like you're gonna be around me, you're gonna be in my personal space or I'm gonna be in your personal space. Then we need to have some kind of agreement that this was consensual so that you can't later come out and say that I tried to do something to you because there's people looking for ways to come up all the time. Unfortunately, we we don't really have the same systems in place uh, to hold women accountable as we seem to have for these men. For the most part, Chris Brown is pretty private about his private life. He doesn't really blast who he's dating to the public. He doesn't really show what goes on in his family life. He's pretty private for the most part. Um, and I think that's for good reason because he learned at a young age that people are gonna judge you for everything you do, you know? So you gotta keep your cards kind of close to your chest. And um, this is just another example of why Celebrities don't trust regular people. Anyway, I feel like I'm rambling now. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. I wanted to get you guys' feedback. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next video.